Exploring Cultural Meanings with Sandra Collins and Yevgen Yazinski. So Yev, one of the things that we thought we might talk about today was um, some of the uh, challenge for you around um, wanting to celebrate cultural and religious holidays, even though there's some disconnect with how you view yourself and also some disconnect with um, your partner around that. Providing transparency. So where do you want to start? Questioning. Yeah, um, it's kind of an interesting topic because uh, in Ukrainian culture, we do put emphasis on Easter or uh, Ukrainian Christmas, which is not Orthodox. And uh, although I'm not deeply religious or religious at all, we do celebrate it and we, we do celebrate it full force because this is just the way it is. You paint eggs, you do lots of food and you invite your family and friends to celebrate. So it's for me, it's more of a getting together than the religious holidays. And I think my partner at the beginning had a kind of question. It's like, why do you do that? Why do you celebrate Easter? Well, Christmas is a little bit different because Western society also celebrates it. Although some people are from the different religions or deities or... We just had Easter not that long ago. So paint me a little bit of a picture about what Ukrainian Easter would look like in your household. Probing. Um, it's, it's kind of big because you have to cook certain dishes. Um, you have to go to church to bless the food. Mm. And although it doesn't line up with my world views, it's kind of a tradition. It's probably one of the few times that I go to church. So when you when you talk about that, you're you're smiling, providing immediacy. Um, that suggests to me that you really value this experience and enjoy this experience. Reflecting meaning. Yes, because it's the time to be with. Um, my parents and just it's the unity it's kind of puts this smile on my face yeah in a in an earlier conversation you talked about connection and connection to your parents and bringing them here and um it's interesting to listen to you now because i hear this um connection extending beyond just your family to the to the cultural context you grew up in and kind of the memories that brings and the sense of meaning that brings to you. Reflecting meaning. Yes, I value this because I also borrowed a nephew to Canada and uh, we trying to keep some of the traditions mm -hmm and build our dome. And there is the only handful of holidays maybe left with my parents to be together. Mm. So. Partly also passing on those traditions to your nephew and his wife and building that kind of um, sense of family. Reflecting meaning. 
yes, because uh, then Canada, this type of traditions can be lost so quickly when you t- t- assimilate in the uh, Western society with their traditions. So, although when I moved to Canada, I didn't really appreciate that. That appreciation actually came when I brought my parents and mm. my nephew. So I am more valuing the Ukrainian traditions now than, let's say, 20 years ago. Mm. And one of the challenges, I think, of, of um, moving away um, from sort of personal connection to religion is that's where a lot of our rituals are embedded, right? Our cultural rituals are really embedded in religion. And so it seems like the, the connection for you in there is the cultural rituals that brings that richest, richness to your life. Summarizing. Yes. So when you talk about um, your partner struggling with understanding this, just looping back to where we started at the beginning, providing transparency. What is it that you think is difficult for him to appreciate about the um, value value that you place on these rituals and traditions? Questioning. I think because uh, he was connecting these holidays to the religion and he didn't see the connection to the tradition Mm. and the family value um, that was probably the problem to to originally Mm. and how has that perspective shifted over time for him questioning I think now he understands the actual reasoning behind the scenes on my part, and he learned to to appreciate all of the goodies that comes with it, because Mm -hmm. there is a lot of tasty food and entertainment. Mm -hmm. It's one of the... um... I think it's one of the losses um, that can happen with abandonment of kind of religious connection that there aren't other, there aren't any, there aren't other cultural rituals to step in to replace that. Summarizing. Um, Well, we can build our own (laughs) rituals and traditions, but those rituals and traditions that already exist and mm-hmm. they did exist before I came to Canada. So the, I kind of lost, lost it with mm-hmm. the move mm-hmm. because I tried to actually disconnect from the Ukrainian community because I was trying to assimilate better mm-hmm. and quicker but, but there's something sorry no maybe this was the right way to do because mm-hmm. in some ways there's something about those traditions that carry far back into your childhood but also your parents childhood um, you know back through generations that hold a meaning that is really hard to recapture or recreate by something new. Summarizing. Yes. 